Top Brass heard you rehearsing and you've been invited to sing at the Festival of Remembrance. What? The big one on TV. This is going to be a disaster. I love the premise of this film, the idea that it's based on a true story and it's focusing on these military wives and then they create this choir. So maybe tell me a little bit about each of your characters because you have very different personalities, yet you have to learn to come together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my character is uh, Lisa, who uh, is not uh, a, a sort of career military uh, spouse. She sort of ended up there by mistake or by, you know, the person she fell in love with and, and has sort of found herself in a position of responsibility now to the women and uh, really doesn't like it, really doesn't want it. And then uh, Kate comes in and decides to take charge for a whole sort of different set of reasons that Kristen will tell you. Yeah, because I'm uh, uh, my character, Kate, is the Colonel's wife, and she is very much uh, a career wife. You know, she she knew what she was getting into when she married um, her husband, and she knew um exactly what it meant she her, her, her father was probably in the army i imagine you know she she probably comes from a long line of military family um and she has her their son was um was also in the army and he has he was killed 18 months previous to the beginning of the film and now her husband is off fighting again on deployment in afghanistan and and when the, the period that we're talking about, when, which is when the period it's based on, the story is based on, was a particularly uh, tragic time for the, the, for the military. There were a lot of lives lost and a lot of injury, and it was a really tough time. And to keep them all together, they to sort of keep the wives, keep their spirits up, they formed this choir. And this is real life. In San Diego, we have multiple bases, multiple branches. So um, the military are a huge part of our community and we love them. But for the two of you, what stuck with you most about the character of military wives? Oh my gosh. I think for me it was, um, because really I, I knew very, very, very little. I was purely ignorant uh, about their lives and, and you know, what they go through and what they have to endure. Just an outlook which is uh, positive and, you know, it wasn't not keep calm and carry on, but just like life exists and life has to, has to also be lived. And yes, we have to say goodbye to our partners for sometimes, you know, six months at a time and it's awful and it's a, it's a really tough thing to, to get through, but life doesn't end there. You know, there, there's fun and there's laughter and there's happiness. Yeah. that runs alongside it. The thing that impressed me was the sort of resilience and knowing that you've, you're gonna be here for a certain amount of months sometimes, maybe two years, hmm. and then you're gonna move again. So you're gonna to have to put down roots again, you're gonna to have to start again, you're gonna to have to recreate, you're gonna to have to re reassemble your life in different places. You may not need the choir, Lisa, but those women do.